God, I don't like his this pain in the name of Jesus. Shalom and welcome back to Wife Hack by Tina Cherie and welcome to Motivational Monday. And this motivation is going to be entitled, It's Bigger Than You Think. And don't forget to check me out on the Death Wobble podcast and to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's pray. Father God, we give you all the glory, we praise you, we magnify you, and we thank you, sir. We thank you, sir, for everything you've done, everything you're doing, and everything you will do. Lord, we love you, and we ask that you forgive us of sins we've committed knowingly and unknowingly, and we repent for perpetuating those generational curses that we are sent down here to break. Lord, I pray that you open our hearts, our minds, our eyes, our ears to receive the word that you would like us to hear today. Make me your personal conduit so I can say to your people what you want me to say. Me in the background, you in the foreground, this is about your glory we thank you for the revelation the confirmation and the clarity and the tailor made message in the name of jesus amen so turn with me if you will in your bible to first chronicles 4 and 10 jabez called upon the god of israel saying oh well he didn't say it like that oh that you would bless me and enlarge my border and that your hand might be with me and that you would keep me from harm that it may not bring me pain oh my god i don't like his this pain in the name of jesus but anyway um and god granted what he asked <laughs> okay we can't forget about that part because that is the main part of this part okay and god granted what he asked I he granted what, so what Jabez, God, we pray the, the first Chronicles 4 and 10 right now in the name of Jesus. We pray that same prayer that God, that you might enlarge our borders, okay, enlarge our territory in the name of Jesus, Lord, and, and that you might be with us, that you could keep us and protect us from harm. That we will not suffer pain in this life. That we will not suffer pain in this life. I know you. I know you said no. There's going to be it. But it would not have the same effect on us. That it does other people. That you have separated us. In the name of Jesus. That we could go through the pain. And that we have peace. That surpasses all understanding. Lord enlarge our territories. Right now in the name of Jesus. We pray that you do this for us. Not for our glory Lord. Not for our glory. But for your glory. In the name of Jesus. That you can do it. In the name of Jesus, for you to get the glory. For you, sir, to get the glory. We thank you for that in the name of Jesus. We receive it in the name of Jesus. We receive that our territory is going to be enlarged and that you are going to protect us and keep us from harm in these streets. In the name of Jesus, my God. Okay. And God, we receive that you are going to grant what we asked asked why do i struggle with that word so bad ah! but we receive it in the name of jesus that you are going to grant us that petition mm. Woo, I can, let me tell you can you feel this can you feel this okay so here's my thing the thing that you ask god to do the thing that you ask God to do, um, he said it's going to be bigger than what you, ooh, ooh, okay. It's going to be bigger than what you thought it was going to be. Oh, he said, I'm about to get the glory from this. And I don't know how another way of saying it. You know how um, I think Bishop T.D. Jakes be talking about, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get You know how he be talking? But literally, I kind of feel like that's exactly what this is. 
get ready because he is enlarging your territory. But it's not for you to be bragging. Oh no, it's not for you to be bragging. He's enlarging it so that he can get the glory. I know you're looking at yourself and you're like, me? And God said, yes, you. Oh, yes, you. You think all this has been for nothing? Ooh, it's not been for nothing. It's for a reason. Ooh, ooh, it's, a, it's about to be juicy up in here. Not that type. Ugh. Either which way, God is about to blow your mind. He is about to blow your mind. He is about to enlarge your territory. And he's about to grant what you asked for him to do. He's granting it. For some people, he already did it. He's already granted it. You know, you just got to open that door. He unlocked it already. You just gotta twist that doorknob, open it, and walk through it. Anyway, I'm going to link in the description one of the life-giving messages from Bishop Kevin Foreman in Harvest Church. It will bless you, it will inspire you, it will change your life. And thank you so much. This is such an honor. And shalom.